back to the Javier Lifestyle. It's your boy Chris Javier bringing you another YouTube video and today I'll be checking out the first track of Vonda's latest album called Skull 2 Season 1 that is out right now on all platforms. So make sure you stream. And the song is called Some Times. Now I have been waiting for this track to be released on YouTube so I can react to it because it has English and Thai subtitles and you know my native language is English so I am so thrilled so excited to finally 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 react to this I have been streaming the four or five tracks that I have reacted to thus far on Skull 2 and man it just brings me memories to like when I first heard the track and I love, I love, I love every time I react to Vonda, it is so refreshing and so enjoyable because he is so talented in many ways, guys. He makes his own beats. He's a fucking goat when it comes to the cadence. But guys, I don't want to keep talking. Let's get to reacting. But before we do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join the Javier Lifestyle family. Also, guys... I will be doing possibly one to two tracks a day off the album. It's about 10 tracks that I haven't released a reaction to yet. So I might just do that. But let me know in the comments below if you would like to see that. But guys, let's go. I like the visual on this too. Is he on Skull Island? I know there's a track on the album. I believe it's called Skull Island. So would make sense. These instrumentals though. Very subtle. Bill Clark kept John Lock down and hung top top big and hung shake. Bill Clark Jung my son. Or some they got my cock. Sometimes I laugh and cry at myself for being different. Now, I won't say that's necessarily a bad thing to be different, right? We are all different when it comes to down to it. I feel like if you are getting clowned for being different, then you don't really have a matured mindset. Everybody needs to realize that if life was just full of people being the same, we would be literally clones of each other and life would be definitely dull and boring. While Vonda, I know he's going through different emotions. It seems like he's going through some emotional turmoils, that's for sure, um, because he's talking about he laughs and cries sometimes for being different. So it's just a, range, a, a wide range of emotions right there. But I think at the same time, he's different because no one else has a creative process like Vonda. Only someone like Vonda can think of different things because he is he's musically gifted and that's why he probably feels like a little outsider at the same time but uh man this is whew, he's already let us letting us in in his life so i, I condone vonda for that definitely man thanks for giving us some light of what kind of emotions you go through because it's it's very real for each and every one of us because we all go through these type of same emotions it's crazy because he's an artist going through these emotions that us regular people i would say regular people because we ain't no artist we ain't no talent in the decision like himself goes through as well <laughs> So right there, um, I feel like he's talking about society as a whole. You know, they pressure us to do things that we don't really want to do. We don't think in that matter, but they're telling us, you know, we classify you, you know, you as as a uh, poor, rich, you know, but at the same time. When it comes down to it, everybody has their own way of thinking. Everybody has their own way and, and different paths that they want to go in. Vonda wanted to go in the music career. I want to pursue the entertainment per, uh, career. That's why I want to do YouTube, you know. Everybody should do what they enjoy in life. 
what brings them joy to life, matter of fact. Um, there should be no pressure right there, though, you know. But uh, that's definitely, it resonates to a lot of us, you know. I don't know why that drum pattern reminds me of like Kanye West 808s and Heartbreak. I don't know if I'm the only one in that boat that thinks that way, but when that it reminds me of like 808s and Heartbreak, like that uh, drum pattern. So he's pretty much speaking about the inner demons of himself is stronger than any type of monster. And it's very true. A lot of people, they overthink. A lot of people, they go through type of uh, depression, anxiety, um, all of these different types of things, you know. And um, it's only for us that sometimes we have to say, okay, you know, you win. You know, I lose. Um, but at the same time, you got to fight, man. You got to stay strong and keep fighting. Uh, but yeah, it is definitely the strongest monster out there. Is your inner demons? It's you, you know, you're your hardest critic. I'm, I, I'm, I follow that as well. I'm, I'm my hardest critic, so I, I definitely understand where what he's saying right there. <laughs> I told you, I told you, he's talking about depression and anxiety. And it tell, I'm gonna tell the truth right here. Before I did YouTube, I was going through anxiety. I was scared to talk in public. I was scared to talk to the camera, which is weird, right? You're thinking like, oh, it's just the camera. But also, everybody in the public eye is seeing me now on YouTube. But I got over that fear. You just gotta keep pushing, you gotta keep pushing. Um, but everybody goes through it. It's not just, you know, Vonda, but everybody, everybody, I'm not gonna say everybody, because not everybody goes through that type of emotions or that type of uh, depression, anxiety, but a lot of us go through that, you know? So it's, like I said, he's being really real with this uh, song. I like it. I love that, uh, that beat though. That instrumental on this is very uh, different. It's a different type of feel. Yeah, 
hey bắt cay hey còn vắt chân đi Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi và hẹn gặp lại I love the different elements of the instrumentals too throughout the whole track but that was uh Vonda sometimes guys what did you think about this track I think it's a great intro uh, honestly uh, it just lets us in his life and it's like a good introduction you know to Skull 2 I'm sure he was going through a lot especially I know we've been waiting for some time now for Skull 2 but you know what the masterpieces are always the ones that we wait the most for. And I know this one, this album is going to be great. I haven't listened to all of it. Like I said, it's about now nine tracks that I haven't listened to. But sometimes it's definitely relatable. I feel like what I like about Banda is that he's very versatile. He, he brings different types of uh, topics to the matter of the forefront for us to understand who he is and also understand us as a society and um this was no different it was a great song love the instrumentals it reminds me of like um like i said kanye west 80s and heartbreak um i don't know if you guys also get that from this track as well i know i can't be the only one but guys i hope you enjoyed this reaction if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe and join the hobby lifestyle family also don't forget to stream skull 2 on all platforms it's on spotify on apple music on you name it you got it you got the platform it's on youtube matter of fact too but guys <laughs> until next time it's always peace love and positivity and i'm out Black and white is all y'all see And I need